It is important to understand that sarcasm is not only a system of beliefs, but an ancient culture that has, in secret, preserved its own language, traditions, and societal norms, while outwardly adopting the dominant culture of the lands they inhabit. To comprehend the sarcic psychology, one must remember how their minds are shaped by their distinct social environment. Thus, behavior that would be considered beyond the pale to most murder, torture, rape, etc. might be perfectly acceptable among Sarkites. Footnote 9. For Proto-Sarkites, such actions are committed zealously for some perceived greater good. For Neo-Sarkites, it manifests in a most libertine manner. To be as gods, one must not be bound by mortal concepts of morality. Nothing sacred, nothing taboo. Dr. Fashionbauer. Letters between neo sarkic cult members have been deciphered revealing a fairly intricate caste system outside the religious hierarchy. A form of pedigree, it appears that Neo-Sarkites place heavy emphasis on bloodline, a hidden aristocracy whose marriages form pacts and the foundation of powerful Sarkic families, referred to by followers as High Bloods, sometimes Black Bloods. Footnote 10 the concept does not appear to exist among proto sarkic cults. Indeed, the idea cast contradicts the egalitarian beliefs common to early Sarkicism. Dr. Lowe. Footnote 11. This is likely a play on Blue Bloods, a term for nobility and other affluent people. One is generally born into Sarkicism, with new blood introduced through careful selection. It is difficult to draw a line between cult and family in Sarkicism. The recruitment of outsiders is usually unnecessary, as Sarkites have little trouble maintaining their numbers, their virility and health apparently unaffected by generations of inbreeding. Even non-Karsists, Karsists and above being biologically immortal, Sarkites have significantly lower rates of mortality when compared to that of an average human, rarely dying before reaching a hundred, unless by violence or accident. Footnote 12. Indeed, a Sarkic community was once discovered by studying late medieval census data and searching for populations with unusually low mortality rates, most especially those whose numbers were unaffected by pandemics such as the Black Death. Dr. Lowe. Footnote 13 Note, It is also possible that, upon reaching a certain age, Neo-Sarkites falsify their deaths and spend the rest of their anomalously extended lives away from public view. Data suggests that hierarchical structures are generally consistent between Sarkic cults, having remained relatively unchanged for at least over the last 3,000 years. The two highest tiers, Ozamark, Grand Karsis, and Clavigar, High Karsis, have not been verified outside of scripture and ancient documents, rendering it difficult to discern whether these ranks are truly part of the modern Sarkic hierarchy or serve as a mostly mythical foundation. With that said, the standard hierarchy, from highest to lowest, consists of Ozermach, also known as the Grand Karsist, the highest tier reserved for the Prophet Ion and no other. Ion is further discussed throughout the document. Clavigar, also known as High Karsist, roughly analogous to a saint. The names of four Clavigar are presently known. It is common for neo sarkites to claim ancestry from a Clavigar. See the Hagiography subsection of History for information about individual Clavigar. Karsists, the spiritual and secular leaders among Sarkic organizations. Karsists are considered biologically immortal and vary in form and anomalous ability. Footnote 14. Although all known Karsists appear to have once been non-anomalous humans, only some maintain a human visage. It is theorized that they are able to control their holocausts via the release of complex pheromones. It is assumed that Clavigar and the Ozamark wield similar influence. Footnote 15 A group of anomalous organic entities controlled by a Karsist. Volotar Advisors to a Karsist, predominantly female among proto sarkic cults for reasons unknown. Zend A midland rank of the Sarkic hierarchy, have a degree of power and protection unlike the Orin. Orin the lowest rank of the Sarkic hierarchy. Adherents who do not descend from a Sarkic bloodline begin at this level.